Oh, 50 BMG. What's up, man? How's it going? I'm just uh, starting up the stream here right now. Good, 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 good. Um, I don't know if, uh, how many hours do we have in this game? 23? We might be, actually. It's 14 outside, yeah. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm fucking sick, so if I sound different or weird or if I'm coughing up a lung there, <laughs> that's why. Uh,. Don't know if it's uh, Karoni Pierogi. I got one positive and one negative, and I had a really shitty night of like just extreme chills. And like, <laughs> like teeth clattering chills, you know? And uh, yeah, so I got one negative yesterday, and I tested again today. And it came up positive, so uh, who knows? <laughs> I'm gonna try. I'm gonna do another one uh, later tonight too, and see if that comes up positive. But you know, I took some stuff. I'm feeling all right, ish now. Um, still a little tired. Yeah. I do know, like, a guy that I was working with was sick, but didn't have COVID. But, like, I don't know if I caught what he got. But also, the building I work in is just filled with COVID, too. So, uh, I wouldn't be too surprised. Yeah, no, but long night for me anyways. It was it, it was really shitty <laughs> in the terms of just not being able to sleep. Braved the perils of the sublevel, yes. Many stories and artifacts in your possession. This is fortuitous for myself and associates. For now, not only do I get rich salvage, but an even richer bounty. Do not be making this difficult. Your death can be quite painless. Do you read it? Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Maybe the odd time when I'm searching up like a video game related question. I used to use it. Like I was part of the Deep Rock Galactic Reddit community there for a bit, but then I kind of just got uh, bored, I guess, of Reddit. Negotiations I don't know. are not possible. A deal has been made with anxious people. People you do not cross. And now. Jedi, we shall fight. Yeah, I think we have to go to the other level.
Let's see what's over here. Yeah, this is just so trippy being back here because, like, of playing KOTOR 1. See, this is probably where I was supposed to go. But yeah, I do want to get in a couple long streams here. I do want to finish KOTOR this weekend. And then we'll head on to something, uh... Onto something new, maybe. Huh. I guess we don't go this way. Much better now, thanks to you. I don't think I thank you properly. Now. I found a few Jedi artifacts down at the sub levels. I was planning on selling them to Darala. I found three things down there. One, some sort of. If you give me a thousand credits, you can have it all. That'll be enough for me to get off this rock. Doesn't work that way. Maybe it's worth a lot more than a thousand credits, and you make off real good. Ha! <laughs> A pleasure doing business with you. Come back anytime. What? Who is that? You go down into the sub levels yet? Or did you suddenly develop some sense? It's a shame about that. Yeah. You managed to find him down there? You've proven very helpful. <laughs> Oh, she just, like, totally disappeared. Interesting. <laughs> okay, so I'm missing something here, then. Cause yeah, I don't know. You know what? I guess I didn't really go into this right corner. Oh my god, and it's probably where we have to go to. <laughs> the one door I didn't check. Oh, maybe not. No clip. Yeah, that was really weird. I don't know if she like like NPCs tend to do that when like they they teleport somewhere. But I don't know where she would teleport to. I guess maybe she could have came into here, but you know, I gotta be missing something here.
if I just overload this uh, computer terminal here, maybe that'll open up that door. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of... <laughs> I must have missed something too in that, uh... In this big room right here. I'm gonna try. Credits, yeah, 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 yeah. Because we nuked all this stuff. I'm guessing that's probably what we have to do. So it doesn't look like there's anything here. I am an historian and scientist. Like you, I. No. It is, it is not the way of the Jedi to vanish in such. I fear that there is something else at work. Something that we can. Then again, it is difficult sometimes for the Jedi to see such things, since much of it is rooted in human nature. And the Jedi. But the reason the Jedi Civil War was named such was because to them, they are. Not always. Jedi often fall. They cause much harm on Onderon, for example, in the next Uleg Keldroma and Exa. It is perhaps more amazing. It is also proof that a single force wielder can change the f hate. No. Jedi are not supposed to be like the rest of us. They are supposed to see a higher purpose and they are supposed to train students responsibly and well. Yet all I saw was ignorance and arrogance and what those seeds created in the Republic. It is difficult to follow the Jedi Code. Many Jedi defy the Order during the Mandalorian Wars, and it paved the way for the Jedi Civil War. <laughs> there is no blame. All must accept. But, at its core, one must wonder if it was the failure of the Jedi teachings or the teachers themselves. Many of the Jedi Council trained Exar Kun, Ulik, Revan, and Malak. Perhaps there was some essential part of their teachings that was flawed. Something beyond the Jedi Code that they were missing. Revan had many masters. Zar, Dorak, Master K before K left for the wars. Towards the end of his training, he sought out many to learn techniques. It is said that he returned to his first master at the end of his training in order to learn how he might best leave the order. I am not certain you understand what happened with Revan. Do you wish me to explain? Revan was captured in the middle of the Jedi Civil War 
due in no small part to his apprentice Malak, who turned on him. Revan was brought before the Jedi Council and put on trial. You must understand that the situation was desperate, and the Jedi needed to know how Revan had amassed the forces arrayed against them. As I understand it, they were able to convince Revan to have a change of heart. Revan helped the Republic defeat Malak. Perhaps in his conversation with the Jedi Masters, they were able to convince him. Oh, that right that's kind of funny, eh? That, uh. Revan had many minds. It is said that he. Re that's kind of cool, though, how they touched on that. Where it's like, yeah, they don't. Obviously, how would this guy know about the whole, like, memory wipe what else thing? Would you like? Someone has been taking hollow. The situation on. More so than the. What else would you like? I do not know if you are aware of how fragile the Republic is at the moment. The Jedi Civil War brought much suffering to the galaxy, and the forces that Malak and Revan amassed against us seemed limitless. Many worlds were destroyed, trade routes disrupted, it was almost the end. But at that last year, the year before Revan vanished, Revan's assault on the Republic stopped. No one knows why, but it was all that saved the Republic. The fleet the Sith had amassed was no more, and the remaining Sith turned on each other, destroying the Academy on Korriban. It did not matter. Revan had all. The war was costly, and it shattered the... But if a threat strikes now, if certain key worlds are not held, then the Republic will collapse. What else would you like? I'm trying to save the Republic. Despite the troubles of the Jedi Civil War, there are those among the Republic who still favor the Jedi, and there are admirals within the fleet who recognize that the Jedi must be found if the Republic is to hold together. Yet as long as Onderon remains within the Republic, and the efforts on Tilo succeed, that is all that matters. The Republic is fragile right now. Telos is important because if Telos is rebuilt and made habitable again, it will affect a string of worlds along the rim. Onderon, strangely enough, was unaffected by the Jedi Civil War. It's almost as if Revan didn't want to attack it. Its resources and position on the rim make it a vital supply line and guard post against outer rim attacks. Also, it's the only world in the Republic still capable of seeding ecosystems into other dead worlds. Onderon's wildlife is some of the most aggressive in the known galaxy. Merely placing some of those beasts on target worlds will guarantee their habitation for years to come. The Jedi are a symbol. As much damage as their reputation took during the Sith War and the Jedi Civil War, there are still many who they serve as an example. Plus, there have been times in the past where a single Jedi has been enough to change the face of a world. Or again, despite the betrayal of many of the Jedi against the Republic, I must concede that as figureheads, they do serve a vital role. What else would you like? Someone has been taking Holocaust. The situation on death more so than the Jedi themselves. Much has been forgotten in recent. The destruction of the egg. The teachings of must. What else would you like to? Someone has been taking. The situation on more so than the Jedi. Before you go, I had a question. What answers do you seek? It has been. If the Sith are rising in the galaxy again, then it is... No, I believe you. But in the histories, I will return to Kunda now and await the next transport. You may find me there if you have more questions. Yeah, so like, I just want to exhaust that guy's dialogue all over again, just in case uh, uh, there's something I missed. But yeah, I don't know, man. I'm <laughs> I'm kind of Yeah, I'm definitely missing something here.
I did get that new... That's pretty cool. Ooh, that's a plus three. What does it look like, even? Okay, it's like a yellowish green. That's pretty cool. I don't know what these guys are. Yeah, I... <laughs> I don't know, man, where to go. So we were attacked here, right?
Yeah, I guess we just, um, we just leave. <laughs> it's not like we missed anything, but I don't know. That's weird. Ooh, excuse me. Oh, a visitor comes to our delightful salvager camp. Am I that transparent to you? Apparently this is so. I'm Rallon, and a question I pose to you, Traveler. Do you wish to buy one of the most elusive of all Jedi artifacts? You flatter me, Traveler. It was a good day when I found this holocron. I ask a mere 1,000 credits for this rare find. This is not a matter of negotiation. Oh, I assure you it isn't. I well, as you can see, it is in fine shape. A real bargain at a me... How did you know? Well, I never unload this accursed thing. This forgery has passed through several hands in this camp. I am merely the latest victim. I wish to abandon this dung heap. No, of course not. Another salvager sold it to me. And he bought it from another one before him. When there were more salvagers, incidents like this were common. Ah, but now there are few of us and I'm stuck with this garbage. There's no way I can make it home to my family. You with all your observations. I'm not gonna talk. So, what you... You a new salvager? Oh, is that so? I'm gonna give you some advice. If you're not going to look and they're now dead, so if you less salvagers. Wait, she? I've been here the longest, and I'll be here last. I buy Jedi salvage from the ruins. Sometimes I sell them to visitors like yourself. You should have let me know you're a customer instead of letting me think you're some disease rich. Ooh. Yeah, we'll buy a bunch of those so uh, we can upgrade those lightsabers to be like super awesome. <laughs> but yeah, I think we're just gonna head our way back here, maybe. I don't suppose you're here to hire us. It's been a long time. Most of us are veterans of the really skill. Oh, 
Oh yeah, am I going to... <laughs> I know this is like technically worse, but... I do like the look of just having a... Back to this crystal cave. Let's see if there's anything here. Oh, yeah, because these are the caves. Yeah, I why was I looking around so much? I know this is where I was supposed to go. <laughs> I even got the thing telling me. Yeah, sorry guys. I'm like... Definitely not... I am totally not thinking right now with this sickness. <laughs> so I can blame that for all my blunders. Halt, settler. This is a restricted area. How the hell did you get through the Kinrath? You should leave. This isn't kidnapping, this is bounty hunting. This Jedi is worth a lot of credits on our Shaddai, and we're collecting. I'm gonna say this nice and simple for your little calf hurting head. Unless you wanna wind up dead. Leave now. What? That's a Jedi trick. We trained against that during the war. It's a Jedi, man. Kill him before he tries something else. Oh, she has resistance to it. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why Always I was like... rushing into action without thinking of the consequences. What? You're expecting thanks? Kunda is in danger, and you've ruined the best chance of averting a full-scale conflict. Is this a joke to you? People's lives are at stake. Every action has consequences, no matter how small or insignificant they seem. And even the smallest choice has the potential for harm. The Mandalorian Wars was proof of this. Intentions mean nothing of a greater tragedy is caused. Did you think rushing into battle against the Mandalorians did anything but bring more harm to the galaxy? It only served to bring about a second war more dangerous than the first. Countless Jedi died in both conflicts, and everyone who followed Revan and Malak died or returned to the dark side. Except, conveniently, you. Disobeying the Jedi Council brought about more destruction than the Mandalorian Wars ever could. Countless Jedi lost, the Republic broken. Enough of this. This is not the time for such arguments. The mercenaries have allied themselves with the Exchange and are planning to attack Kunda. They've been holding off for the right moment. And now, since they lost their captive Jedi, they'll attack immediately. I'm going to try to reach Administrator Adari. Time is of the essence. Okay. 
Like, I mean... I don't really like that giant master out of all of them. <laughs> he, he's the prime example of what's wrong you with the Jedi, Jedi Order. Of, and I am Asgul, leader of the mercenaries on Dantooine. That is correct, and I want you to help me. You don't need to know the details, but I can tell you there are a lot of credits involved. According to my reports, I have four times as many soldiers as the militia, and I'm committed to taking Kunda. It is inevitable that I will succeed. If you wish to avoid my men eradicating the people of Dantooine, you will make it easier for me to take Kunda. Of course, I will pay well for your services. You'd better reconsider. I can't have a Jedi interfering with my plans. There is a considerable bounty on your kind that I will collect on unless you're working for me. You could have guided the situation to a better outcome. Men, I trust you can handle this Jedi. Everybody's a critic. Oh shit. <laughs> Everybody dead. Oh no, I gotta do this whole thing again. Halt, Settler. How the hell did you get? He's a Jedi Master? Well, the bounty is going to be that. I'm going to say this nice and simple. I follow my orders, and nothing you can offer will. I warned you. into Akunda is in danger. Is this a joke? Every action, the Mandalorian. <laughs> Did you think rushing a countless Jedi? Revan acted. You acted. There's no way of knowing what would have happened had you enough of this. The mercenaries have not now since they Okay. Well I'll definitely make sure to say before I head out. I guess I could play like a double agent of some kind, but I don't know if the game's gonna give me that. Jedi. According to my reports, it is inevitable that I will succeed. Of course, I will. You'd better reconsider. 
You could have guided the situation to a better... Men, I trust you can handle this Jedi. I think I might be able just to barely clutch this. <laughs> Yeah, she's all butter because, you know, like, oh, you could have, like, did all this stuff. It's like, nah, dog. How may I serve? <laughs> we don't. We don't negotiate with terrorists. I might as well go talk to this guy and say like, hey. We got one of things for you. I don't suppose you found... That's great news. It is worth more to us than that. I'll pay you. Thanks for your help on this. Holy shit. Four G's, baby. Let's go. You'll find little welcome here, Jedi. Alrighty, let's see if these fools actually attack. Admiral, this is Mikal. I have found the exile. Hey, third boy. That's pretty cool. Ooh, I wonder if he's gonna come in and help us in the end. I see you have found the elusive Master Rook. He's told me that his rescue complicated our situation to some degree. I can't say that I anticipated that. I thank you for finding him, though. Rook has informed me that the mercenaries devised a plan of attack to annihilate Kunda itself. I must ask for your aid again, Jedi. Zeron says that even with a plan, the mercenaries have to gather their forces, then coordinate their assault. So we still have time. I'm afraid the militia has not been adequately trained for the task that befalls them. Our militia is effective at peacekeeping, but isn't prepared for a full-scale battle. If you can do anything to ready them for the reality of it, that would be helpful. Besides that, look around Kunda and see what you can do to strengthen our defenses. I know that we don't have the perimeter turrets online. And that alone could make a significant difference. 
Zeron says there is a considerable chance they will breach Kunda itself. Anything you can do to slow them down could turn the tide of battle. Here is a Mastercard key that will open all of the security doors inside Kunda. Soon, all the civilians will be evacuated. So if you have any business with them, Boy, oh. Well. Oh, excuse me. Oh, shit. We have a whole open area over here. It just goes over there. I mean, we, we stopped them from coming through the back. So that's good. I guess I should probably look into uh, I'm guessing, like, you have to turn those turrets. Yeah. I was about to say, yeah, turret control station is. Saron was right about the mercenaries all along. I guess my...
All right. Thanks, stranger. I should be back to duty. Thanks, stranger. Thanks, stranger. Get some of these soldiers stranger. back up. Perfect. So we got turrets online, we locked the door. The honor is mine. Yes. All righty, shit. I think that's gotta be everything, right? If you require anything, <clears throat> soon all this. You heard what the administrator said. He will have time to talk.
Wait, is that that merchant? That's just over here? Is it this guy? It is. Charanana <laughs> Such acts have their own strength about them. I had forgotten. It may seem that way. It can become much more. I'm sorry. I did not mean to speak of it. Principles of sacrifice and charity. These are things I have not seen in some time. I'm afraid that it will weaken you for what comes. But I have said enough, and you do not need my counsel. Your actions should, as always, be your own. Dang, dude, everyone's a critic. Don't cause any more trouble for dinner to me. I've had enough since this life. Oh, wait! We could hire those mercenaries. A Jedi. I'm... Ah, leave me be, Jedi. Greetings, and good day, traveler. Um, is there something I can do? My apologies, I have... May I be over? If you will, take... I never did talk to this guy over here. Yeah, I never got into the, uh, <clears throat> into the card game. Ooh, excuse me. But you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go, I totally forgot that that guy was asking about a contract. So yeah, man, that's fucking... Let's, uh, let's go see how much they cost. <laughs> 
Wait, how much money do I have? I have 10,000 G. Okay. <laughs> I have 10,000 G. That's a weird thing to say. Um, that should be enough to hire these guys. I don't suppose you're here to hire us. What if we do? They're... Most of us are veterans of the really skill. You... A sentient by the name of Asgul. He was an elite trooper for Malik during the. We had a contract. Now the Republic isn't. We find ways. We had a contract, but now the Republic isn't high. I have time to kill. It's just another spaceport to me. We've been here too long from... We have to live somewhere. Something those settlers don't seem to understand. That flaming administrator and her cat hound Zeron can't keep their noses out of our... There's a natural order to things that they just don't seem to get. Okay, never mind. I totally thought that we could, like... Hire them, but we can't. Maybe we could hire these people. Who is that? You are really helpful. I hear you saved Jorah. Back again, huh? But it's nice to see you again. Jaren says you saved him down there. Next time you should ask for a reward. Hmm. Yeah. I probably should have ran away to, like, go ask that mercenary group. But I do remember saying, like, them saying, like, hey, like, do you have a contract for us? I was like, oh, maybe I could, like, quickly hire them for a job. But <laughs> I guess not. Especially since they work for that guy. Oh. We try talking to this girl here, because this is the only other name NPC out here, right? So you'll find a little welcome. I will answer your question. She was the agricultural. We'd had problems, but after the war, the difference between an audible farmer's give and good. There also been a lot of dis. A farmer here and there, so there are a lot of animals. Don't cause any more trouble for dinner tonight. All right, so maybe we'll talk to some of the people in here. Don't be cringe. Welcome back to Kunga. A lot of people here hate Jedi, but when they were here, they tried helping. Them. Are you waiting for the administrator too? You won't have to wait too long. I'm here to get another pat in the back from the administrator and hear how unfortunate my situation is. That my problem is important. I'm sick of all their excuses and empty... I fought in the war and I know how to use my blaster rifle. If the administrator... Salvagers are the problem. They strip bare the ruins that belong to the people of Dantooine. Then, they sell what they find back to us at inflated prices. I'm not a violent man. I've had my share of it in the war. I sincerely hoped I could just hang my blaster rifle on the wall as a souvenir for my grandchildren. But I can't farm without my equipment. Well, yes and no. I brought my moisture vaporator to Kunda to be serviced. On the way back to my farm, I took a shortcut next to the Enclave ruins. Damn legrics came out of nowhere. I had to run before they made a meal of me. When I returned to retrieve my equipment, I went to their camp to get back my moisture vaporator. This smug fellow Joran told me that he found it within the ruins, and by law, it he said he'd give it to me for the bargain price of 500 credits. I 
wasn't very happy about it, but the law was on his side. So I... Now, the moisture evaporator doesn't work, because it is mysteriously missing its modulator. Join his offer. I suppose you could. Actually, you almost look like a salvager. If you could go to this salvager camp and convince... I'm not rich, but I have some souvenirs from the war again. <laughs> That's great. I'm certainly not getting any help around here. You need... I know exactly who that guy is, so I'll go have a word with them. A lot of people here hate Jedi. But when they were here, they tried helping us. I don't blame them. We've been told to provide you with anything you need. We have to keep the news... I was right about you. You are trouble. But you might just be the right sort of trouble. We mercenaries aren't quick to mobilize, so you have time to do what you need. Or are you ready to... You sure? Once we're done with that, there may not... All right. We got a lot to do. I got the droids. I got the turrets. Since you are here I to see. bolster Kunda's defense, I will hurry to the mercenary camp and delay their assault however I can. I imagine that the mercenaries have got two goals in this whole thing. Kill me and kill the administrator. The rest of the settlers won't have courage to resist if they succeed. The administrator's locked up in her office tight, which means that the mercs have to go through us and Kunza's defenses. Thanks to you, they're gonna have a tougher job. That's about it. Now we... Well, I'll tell them what's there to do. All right, I'll assemble the men. I hope you can speak good. better with words than me. I think it'll really help. Let's get ready for the mercenaries. If we fall here, all of Dan Twin falls with us. Holy man, I really wore shit so much better back then. <laughs> what they were in the modern Star Wars. You get shot once and you're dead. Oh, did I not do enough? So you're the Jedi. I take it you are responsible for the surprises we've had during this battle. Stand aside. Our quarrel is with a distinguished administrator. This isn't your problem. Is that supposed to convince me, Jedi? I was trained by the Sith. My unit killed many Jedi. I'll give you one last chance. Leave the administrator to her. Then you've allied with these flame. I was trained at Malak's Academy. Your tricks won't. Sorry I was held up, but it looks like I've arrived in time to pull you out of your predicament. Kill them all. Wait, hopefully these, uh. Those. I programmed those droids to help me, right? <laughs>
Oh yeah, so they are gonna help me, perfect. Oh, there's that one guy. Thank you so much for your aid. You can be sure that Don Duin will not forget how the Jedi protected us from this planet. We are a humble community, and this conflict has greatly diminished our resources. I hope this reward will be sufficient. I am humbled by your generosity. I will put this to good use. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have much work to do. Don Duin will be slow to rebuild, but I am confident now that we will one day achieve prosperity. Kunda is safe in no small part due to you. I feel certain that the Administrator wouldn't have made it without your assistance. And your assistance. In any case, I am free to talk about whatever you wish. You have seen the end of your trial? Perhaps you would like to explain how you came to this knowledge. That was intended only for the Jedi Council. If what remains of the Council chooses to tell you, then I will abide by their decision and its consequences. There is little I can tell you. Master Kavar felt something had happened to you in the war, but all he had was suspicions, not truths. And Kavar was too close to you in any event. He too felt the call of war and took to battle more than a Jedi should. His speculations would not help you now, but enough of this. It is knowledge for the Council alone until they choose to reveal it. You have more questions? There are a few of us left, but I do not even know if the others still live. We have been forced to divide our forces and retreat to places which will be difficult for our enemies to detect and attack. We have chosen to hide our presences from each other. We cannot. We have resolved not to until we have found where the Sith are striking. But even as our numbers thin, we had hoped to outmaneuver them. By letting them believe themselves victorious, we thought they would become bold and step from the shadows. Then, all of us who remained vowed to meet here on Dantooine. From here, we can plan a course of action, and... but so far they remain in hiding. And Jedi... You have more questions for... Force bonds? Yes. It is the bond that grows between... Such bonds normally grant strength to both, not to such a degree. Still, your ability to form such connections, to influence others, was always a subject of discussion, even when you were a student here. Perhaps it is a punishment of a sort, but a bond that ties to... And with your loss of connection to the Force, it seems such a connection would be impossible. Perhaps it is Dantooine, but I do not feel such from you. I feel nothing but what I felt in the Council Judgment Chamber on Coruscant so long ago. Still, you and your connections were often a subject of debate in the Council. It is possible that returning to known space, journeying with others, has caused the Force to stir within you again. You have more questions for me? Have they? I've seen no evidence of them upon death. Why would they attack you? There were no Jedi. For some reason, I believe you. Still, I am curious as to... Regardless, these Sith have struck, and you survived. This is more knowledge. If you can find others, or find some trace of the Sith threat, and from there we may decide what can be done. You have more questions for me?
I suppose there is something I should show you. And will keep you alive long enough to prove useful. I hesitate to teach this to you because of your demonstrated recklessness. This is Julio, a very ferocious form of lightsaber offense. It goes without saying to exercise proper control and restraint when using this technique. It may allow you to eviscerate a lone enemy, but it will leave you open to attack by force powers. Ooh. ooh. I don't know how you learned that so quickly. I got another lightsaber, eh? So many lightsabers. You get a lightsaber. You get a lightsaber. You get a lightsaber. Ooh, great Jedi robe. What are these? Ooh, ooh. I like that. you guys like do I do I head to my ship you think or do I head to the enclave I don't know so the only thing for lost Jedi is the same thing right Something up? All right. What? No, it's, uh... You know what? Maybe we actually have to go to, uh... I think that's what we have to do. We we have all the other masters. We have to get her, though, from Delos. I think. I don't think, unless she'll just go by herself.
Actually, let us head back over here. I'll upgrade their uh, their lightsaber here. Mm. And we'll give her some more. Uh, Blaster bolt deflection. I might be overthinking it, but I'm pretty sure, like, she's the only, like, just the <coughs> Jedi Master I haven't talked to yet, anyways. Donos Imeragith, one arat. Donos Imeragith, one arat. Donos Imeragith, one. Kawana bota yun. Um, I don't even know if he can get back to the Arctic. Okay, yeah, it looks like you... Well, I just wasted all this time. <laughs> uh, all good. I 
I thought I would try anyways. Um, Wait, did we skip that? I don't know if we skipped that or not. See, I guess with the Jedi Master being gone, I'm kind of hoping that, like, I can now actually go to the... to the place that was sealed off before, but I don't know. <laughs> Lots of wandering around this episode of me just being dumb, so again, apologize for that. Like I said, uh, my uh, brain capacity at the moment is like, <laughs> uh, is very limited. Back again, huh? But it's nice to see you again. Oh. What? How? How did he fix a whole collapsed side of the fortress? Damn, dude. Rebuild Jedi Enclave. Hell yeah, man. It, it is different. It has been some time. Dude, five years and turn this place into a fucking shit show. Much may happen here, but above all, do not forget this. You may trust in me. We cradle each other's lives, and what threatens one of us threatens us both. And if you find you cannot trust me, trust in your training. Trust never doubt what you have done. All your decisions have brought you to this point. shall see what you have become. Let's go talk to these nerds. It is not as it was. But perhaps that is for the best. Oh yeah, like the all the roofs are open, eh? So it's grass here. <laughs> we were wondering when you would arrive. This moment has taken some time to reach us. I imagine you have many questions. Or perhaps you will come for revenge. 
We cast you out of the order because you followed Revan to war. There was no other reason. No, there was another. You had become different somehow, changed. The war had changed you. You were no longer a Jedi, but we could not tell you why. Some explanations mean nothing unless the one who suffers comes to the answer on their own. What had happened to you was punishment enough, and the Jedi do not kill their prisoners. And if you had stayed, you would have changed us, and that we could not allow. You already know the answer. You've noticed it in those who travel with you. Have you noticed that when you act, others follow? Those that travel with you? They follow you without question, without hesitation. Yeah, because we're in a video games. game. Sometimes against their sense. <laughs> I it is books. because you are a leader. But that still fails to grasp the meaning of what I'm trying to tell you. It is not an easy thing to explain. Surely you are familiar with force bonds. It is the bond that develops between apprentice and master when one truly understands another. It is developed over time through understanding of each other. And yet you do it so easily and we do not know why. You make connections through the force and it resonates with those who travel with you. The resonance is even greater when they too are force sensitive. Your actions affect others more than you know. You draw others to you, especially those strong in the Force. When you suffer, their spirit echoes it. And when they are in pain, their pain becomes yours. <laughs> we do not know, but it is not the first time you felt the weight of so many lives. And that is why the Mandalorian Wars echo within you still. We did not cut you off from the Force. You were merely deafened to it. Because of that last battle of the Mandalorian Wars. The screams of countless thousands, Jedi and Mandalorians, crushed by the planet's gravity, annihilated. Their lives still scream across the surface of that dead planet. And within you, to hear the Force over such pain, it is not possible. It was too much for any Jedi to endure. And it is a wonder that you did not die there when thousands perished. All those you had fought with and struggled with. You cut yourself off because you had to if you were to survive. You had hints of it in the war on Doxum. Malachor was simply the final blow. You were deafened. At last, you could hear. You were broken. You were both. You were blinded. And at last, you saw. When you returned to us, we saw what had happened. You carry all those deaths at Malachor within you. And it has left a hole, a hunger that cannot be filled. In you, we saw a wound in the Force. In you, we saw the end of the Force. Yes, you can feel the Force, but you cannot feel yourself. You are a cipher, forming bonds, reaching the life of others, siphoning their will and dominating them. It is the teaching of these new Sith to feed on others, on other Force sensitives. They are symptomatic of the wound in the Force. You are a breach that must be closed. You transmit your pain, your suffering through the Force. Within They're you, not going to attack something me. something worse than merely the teachings of the Sith. What you carry may mean the death of the Force and the death of the Jedi. So you think, it is not the strength of the Jedi you feel. He's right. It's all the death you've caused to get here. You feed on it, and you grow stronger. Just because I murked like a bunch Malachor, of people and leveled up like 30 times, okay? Come on. You must have noticed as you fought across all these planets, killing hundreds, only to become more and more powerful. Why do you think that was? XP, baby, that's what it is. is that <laughs> I love how they're actually it's gotten stronger. making it like and the more part of the story form, though. The more you draw others to you. And that is why you are a threat to us all. I I, I like that. Yeah, cause you guys remember like I made a joke similar to that earlier in the series. 
And it's kind of cool how they actually tied the fact that, yeah, you are going through killing all of these fucking people. I mean, so I'm like, yeah, this is not really a Jedi way of just murking all these people. What if other Jedi went to war as you did, suffered the same events, and emerged as you did? What if there was a crucible that trained such Jedi to consume and kill? For you, Malachor was that crucible. What's worse is these Sith that we face. I fear that they have learned the lesson of Malachor all too well. It is what allows them to prey on Force users, to become stronger when Force sensitives are near. Somehow they have learned their hunger from you. And so you have brought about the end of the Jedi, and perhaps all the knowledge of the Force. But it is of no consequence. Your ability to make such connections, such bonds, so easily are why you cannot remain. They're going to try and kill me. to living creatures and all who feel the Force. You will leave the Sith here, and that we cannot allow. Our judgment before remains. Exile. You must leave. And you must leave without your tie to the Force. It is a <laughs> he doesn't have a neck. for only a few, and only when necessary. But we have the power to cut you off from the Force, and it must be done. Forgive us, but it is necessary. Do not be afraid. You shall feel no pain, but this must be done. As long as you feel the Force, you are a danger to those around you. Come on, girl, Enough. save me. Step away from him. What? Step away. He has brought truth, and you condemn it? The arrogance. You will not harm him. You will not harm him ever again. I thought you had died in the Mandalorian Wars. Die? No, became stronger. Yes. Is this your new master, Exile? If so, then you follow Revan's path. Her teachings will cause you to fall as surely as he did. We sought to lure the Sith out, and now they have come to us. As you would pass judgment on him, I have come to pass judgment on you all. Do you wish to hear the teachings born of the Mandalorian Wars? Of all wars, of all tragedies that scream across the galaxy, let me show you. You, who have forever seen the galaxy through the Force. See it through the eyes of the Exile. How could you ever hope to know the threat you face, when you have never walked in the dark places of the galaxy, faced war and death on such a scale, if you had traveled far enough? Rather than waiting for the echo to reach you, perhaps you would have seen it for what it was. There is a place in the galaxy where the dark side of the Force runs strong. It is something of the Sith, but it was fueled by war. It corrupts all that walks on its surface, drowns them in the power of the dark side. It corrupts all life, and it feeds on death. Revan knew the power of such places, and the power in making them. They can be used to break the will of others, of Jedi, promising them power and turning them to the dark side. Did you never wonder how Revan corrupted so many of the Jedi, so much of the Republic, so quickly? The Mandalorian Wars were a series of massacres that masked another war, a war of conversion, culminating in a final atrocity that no Jedi could walk away from, save one. And that is what I sought to understand. How one could turn away from such power, give up the Force, and still live. But I see what happened now. It is because you were afraid. It is done. He is no more. Take me to Atris. She will have the strength to do what the Council cannot. Oh shit, I didn't think they would...
This is fucked. Up, dude. Oh, cool. Wait, what are the three powers to give you? Jedi speed and armor. Cool, so all I have to do is uh, battle meditation and then after that. Sweet. Dude, this is fucking depressing. Like, I didn't expect the masters to turn on me like that, but then also for her to kill them all, like... Holy shit. Like, that's crazy. She thinks Kreia killed you. Kreia. I think Kreia. It's Kreia. Of course she didn't. It's a lie. Another lie. The only thing that matters is the Handmaiden believes it. And she's gonna react exactly how that old witch hoped she would. That's why she wanted the Handmaiden on board, you know. So she could use her to reach the Telos Academy whenever she wished, without needing the access codes. Handmaiden knows who she is now. She'll take her to Telos, and Atris will do what she'll do to anyone she thinks is a Sith. Yeah, she will, if she can. Are you surprised? All that talk of hatred, manipulation, and standing on your own two feet? Sorry. You don't Still, if we were all judged by who we were in the past, I don't think you'd understand who we are now. I know. That's what I was afraid you'd say. Dude, this just got like What's super. Wrong? Something troubles you. I can feel it. I do not understand what you mean. tell you my life for yours. It is my choice. And if there is an ending between us or my sacrifice can save you, it will be because it is my desire, not your will. I simply do. And sometimes there is no reason that can be given. What did you learn within the Jedi Academy? understand you what it means to be human to lead the feelings i have for you are because of what i see what i hear in your voice all that tells me you are a natural leader i follow because i believe in you i would die for you because i believe in you and where they look at you and see the death of the force i look at you and see hope for all life i look at you and see that perhaps a life untouched by the force 
is not the punishment it is believed to be. I will understand if you feel you must go on alone. But I ask that you do not. Instead, take strength from your connection to others. Do not forsake them as you did in exile. He awaits you at Telos. If you go there, you must face him. And when you do, he will wound you as he has wounded me. I ask you, I beg you, to stay here with me. Causes her to forsake her heritage, her oaths, as you made me forsake mine. I need to know if perhaps I am wrong. If the universe is not as my master once showed me. You will let me love you. Stay. And I want you to see what I see when I gaze upon you. I want you to know why I cannot look at you. And why I am drawn to you. Ooh, baby. That had me, it was like totally crushed. Who is there? Who I am is not the question. I am Atris, Jedi Master. The last historian of the Jedi. The last of the Jedi. Those are titles, words you cling to as the darkness falls around you. You are that which has attacked the Jedi. You are Sith. Sith is a title, yes, but like you, the title is not who I am. It is not what I believe. For you, it is different. Know that there was once a Darth Traya, and that she cast aside that role, was exiled, and found a new purpose. But there must always be a Darth Traer, one that holds the knowledge of betrayal, who has been betrayed in their heart and will betray in turn. You have bathed in the knowledge of the Sith, but there is not enough truth in such teachings. But it will be a step for you. How did it happen? Search your heart. It was never battle that called to you, never battle that caused you to fall. Alakor V has touched many things and it casts its echoes still. Why did he betray me? You betrayed yourself. Do not blame the exile. And unlike you and I, 
There is still a chance that one may be saved. The one that you cast out. Where is the exile? I had thought... Oh, he will come. But it will be too late to save either of us. It is such a quiet thing to fall, but far more terrible is to admit it. Hmm. Your mistress awaits. She has much to share with you. The last of the handmaidens is before us. It is good that you have returned. You have much to answer for. What are you saying? You have betrayed us. You have betrayed Atris. You are no longer one of us. You followed the Jedi, betrayed your oath. Listen to me. Atris has been touched by the Sith. It is not too late for... Silence. It is a crime to kill blood, but not to kill a betrayer as you. <laughs> then you shall fall. What the hell? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Where have you been? You have been absent so long. I feared for your safety. Were you with the exile all this time? Mistress, as you commanded, I... Commanded? Did I command you to consort with him? To follow his teachings? To betray your oath? Mistress, I do not understand. I... Of course you do not. But you will learn. So she felt the dark side. Enough. Did you have feelings for him? Did you touch him? Did you look upon him with love? There is no love in that one. He is a shell, devoid of emotion. All that he was died at Malachor, and he dies there still, as he should. Hello. One exile has arrived to save another. It is no crime to kill the Sith, or any that threaten the Republic, as you proved in the Mandalorian Wars. This is now my battle. And you are now my enemy. Such a noble one. Your execution has been too long delayed, Exile. Well... Do that. Do a little bit of battle meditation. Oh my god, one strike. <laughs> my character might be a little broken. Might just be a little broken. Oh wow, it's been a long time since I saved. <laughs> She said you would come here to this place. If you think you can defeat me here, you are wrong. All this collected knowledge, all these teachings of combat and the Force, they are mine to command. And if I must use it to end you, I will. Surrender. You need not die. Atreus. That is not who I am. Not any longer. She has not existed for some time, I think. There was always something else within me. 
just took time for its voice to be heard. The old woman you traveled with finally made me listen to myself, to the galaxy. She said that you would come here and that you would face me in battle. Yes, the Sith are here at last. You have brought them to this place as I had foreseen. It has all been part of my plans for you. And when I defeat you and the forces you have brought to Telos, I shall take the battle to the heart of the Sith. And I do not know, yet, but it does not matter. They have come here to face the Republic in battle and they will be destroyed. Yes, the Sith are here at last. You have brought them to this place as I had foreseen. And when I defeat you and the forces you have brought to Telos, I shall take... These Sith are cowards, striking from the shadows to kill Jedi. I needed a target to draw them out, but I could not risk my own life, all that remained of the Jedi. So I arranged for you to return to the Republic, leaked information of your past and then waited. But you came to Telos against my predictions. Now they are here, I could Surrender to you, never. Let us end this. Ah. Uh, only a Sith deals with everything. This will teach you. Kill me. <laughs> end this. One strike. If you will not kill me, this knowledge of the Sith and the Jedi is what I am. It is my attempt to hold on to the past, to try and protect the future. Once I was a historian, the chronicler of the Jedi, and when both wars passed me in some part of me, I knew I had made choices, compromises, but always for the sake of the Republic, of the galaxy. To do what you had done, at times, did not seem so wrong. You're right. The Jedi were all that seemed left to me. And yet I had become so far removed from them that I betrayed them. You always knew where they were striking from. You always knew. These Sith are spawned of you. Spawned by the Mandalorian Wars. All those dead. All those Jedi. Their power is to feed on life until nothing is left except a hollow gap. Yes, I had thought she was awaiting me at that place, but I see now that she lied. It was not meant for me, but for you. She has gone there. She is waiting for you to travel to Malachor 5 to finish what you started. Yes, you are an echo in the Force, a hollow space where it has been wounded. It takes a great act of destruction to create such emptiness, but it can be done. It creates places where the force is difficult to hear and difficult to find one's way, and you carry it with you, always. Now she seeks to create another echo, a wound in the force, greater than the one before, greater than the one you caused. It will deafen all touched by the force until no life is left. You were strong enough to withstand it once, I do not know, but she needs you there. If you choose not to follow, she will murder herself at the heart of Malachor and you will die along with her. She seeks the death of all Jedi, all Sith, and the death of the Force. It is madness, it is impossible, but she believes you are the key. 
There are places in the galaxy dead to the Force where nothing lives, where the Echoes travel forever and do not reach their destination. And these places may be created, even from the simplest of events, the slightest of motions. One person at the right place, at the right time, Because the Force had been stripped from her, as it had been torn from you. At times, I wonder what we would be if the Force was taken from us. If we would truly be Jedi or Sith, or... And what will you do with me now? Abandon me here on this dead world, or end my life as I wish to end yours? does not matter. Not now. It is what I did with such pain that caused the wound. But I thank you. Leave now, while you can. Save Telos. Save the galaxy. Save yourself. You came for me. I thought I had lost you. She said the Council had ended you, and all along she was one of those who had sought to kill us. When I heard her say that you were dead, I... I failed you. I let my... I wanted to punish her, hurt her, see her answer for what she had done to the Jedi for leading you to the Council. of the handmaidens no longer i am brianna disciple of the last of the jedi and the one who will stand with you against all enemies who face hey us. brianna okay cool cool it is good to hear it after so long <laughs> Ooh, sorry excuse me I didn't believe it when Lino reported the Ebon Hawk at dock, but I guess it really has. Though given the trouble we've been having, maybe I shouldn't be surprised to see you. Oh, look at these nerds. Lieutenant Gren, Sith forces have breached the module and are attempting to pen us up in the compound. Damn. Zeron, I need you and your men to break through and lead the assault. With pleasure, Lieutenant. All right, follow me. came out of nowhere. A fleet of warships dropped out of hyperspace, and before we could scramble fighters to intercept them, we were under attack. There were Sith fighters everywhere, and the few flights we sent out were barely launched when the bombardment began. We did our best, but we couldn't stop the landing craft that followed the initial wave. We couldn't hold back the Sith troops. We chose to retreat and began the evacuation instead. Then there's also the few... Oh no, shit! Because we don't have enough fuel, we won't be able to keep the station in orbit and operational and fight off I the never Sith at the same time. I never went back and told We're them to make about the best the of what we have deal. left, but it's going to be cutting it pretty The Sith numbers seem limitless, but we haven't lost all hope. We've heard reports that we might be receiving some assistance. If you need to get to the Ravager, then you're going to have to fight your way to the shuttle from here to the entertainment module, then make your way to the docking shuttle. Good luck.
Okay. Um, you know what? I think we are going to end the stream there. Um, uh, like I said, I'm still feeling pretty sick, but I thought we'd come on, hop on for a little bit. I believe that we're probably in the final parts of the game now, so we should probably be able to finish it up tonight or maybe even tomorrow. But uh, yeah, things are dropping by and I will see you guys on the next one. All right. Peace.